guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today we are going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Archlight, Arclight, Archlight trainers. <laughs> guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna like those too. So head down there, click the red button, subscribe, become a member of our addicted family. We are not about to go to rehab yet. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. So this is the Louis Vuitton Archlight or Arclight, I still don't know which one it is. Um, this design has been going around for a couple of seasons now. I finally bought into the hype. I would say that this is less of like an ugly shoe trend and more of a weird shoe trend. These were 740 pounds, I believe. I will put all the corrections and all the links below. And they come in just under a thousand dollars. So you've got this kind of like a matte leather, matte navy, you've got this neon green printed, you have the white kind of mesh material kind of thing going on there, you've got black leather at the front, the white sole, the laces are doubled, I like that moment, I like this double moment, I'm not sure why it's there but I'm here for it. You have the Louis Vuitton logo in a kind of rubber on the front there, if we switch it round you have a grey leather at the back so you you get more of a neutral moment from the back and then you have the monogram kind of pull there. Now the thing with this shoe is they are doing it in so many more colours and different um, colourways every season. I was like Cassie, should we go for a neutral moment? Should we go for the all white with the monogram? Hmm, possibility. This 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 just spoke to my soul. I saw it and I had never seen anybody in it, like on Instagram or in real life or whatever. So I was like, listen, a girl needs to have these. The pros of these are, they're obviously very on trend. This whole style is very on trend. It's come back for a few seasons now. This is it and it's happening, okay? So you either join the crew or you sit out and you you keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> I am a size 39. Usually I went for a size 39, perfect fit. Now when I first tried it on, it was a bit tight around the side. I will say, if you have wide feet, this shoe is not for you, it is not. It comes very narrow and I have quite narrow feet anyway so I put it on and I thought okay this is a this is a cozy fit, it's fine. The more I've worn it the more it has you know widened out a bit, it's a little bit you know it's warmed up, it's warmed up, she's settling in. This turns out to be a very comfortable shoe. As I said it does give but if you have wide feet you're probably gonna have a problem with this. My only cons with this shoe is that it can be a little difficult to style. So I do have styling to show you so I will I, I will show you but at the beginning you can be a bit like hmm how do I wear this how do I give her enough how do I show her off enough and also depending on what color you get if you get a neutral color then it's gonna be easier to style I obviously made life hard for myself but you know listen listen I do this shiz in my sleep people this this wasn't gonna stump me the main concern with this shoe with styling is this bit okay because this kind of tongue at the front is very high but then it's low at the side so your main concern is the ankle area you either want to go with a trouser that goes all the way down it's going to disappear into the shoe fine or you want a sort of trouser that's going to cut above it so then it can stand out by itself and it's not going to get like infiltrated with other things if you get something that ends kind of here it's going to look weird it's going to be like it's going to be mismatched it's not it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a look, okay, and we're going for a look, we're going for a moment with these shoes. So for the first look, these are these kind of shiny looking leggings, I've gone with a black turtleneck, we've gone for a blazer moment, we've cinched it at the waist with a belt, and this is why, you've got one colour going throughout the outfit, hit it with the ankles with these shoes, okay, they really stand out. I like the fact that the shoes are very casual, but the rest of the outfit is kind of smart. The next look is a lot more casual, but I thought that these jeans were super interesting. I have done this with a white shirt, a relaxed white shirt, and we've gone for a varsity jacket. With these shoes, I'm trying to kind of match with, I wear a lot of jeans, so, it, so the navy goes super well with jeans. And my last look, I've gone for an all denim again. So I've gone for a denim skirt moment, we've gone for a light gray to turtleneck and we've gone for a denim jacket. The denim works with the blues in the shoes. So that is one thing that you need to be really conscious if you're gonna go for like a brighter color is match with the neutrals. Do not worry about the brightness, okay? Do not worry about the neon. As long as you match with the neutrals, you will be fine. Let me know your thoughts on these shoes because I know people are either gonna be like, yes, 
oh she's cool she's sassy i'm here for her or people are going to be like that is weird that looks like some weird alien entity let me know which team you're on are you team alien or are you team here for it let me know guys like this if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already become a member of our family we would love to have you join us and have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i will see you in my next video Mwah! bye guys